Hey everyone, and welcome to Gamer's Kitchen and Tavern. For our first episode, we decided to recreate Creamy Heart Soup from the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild video game. The video game recipe calls for a hydromelon, a volt fruit, a hearty radish, and some fresh milk. We started off with trying to peel a dragon fruit only to then realize we probably should have googled it first. Then after figuring it out, we cut the sides of the dragon fruit and then we cut it in half. This was the first dragon fruit we bought that was not white on the inside, which I realize is probably going to make it harder to get a creamier pink color for the soup. Nick was able to peel it afterwards with his hands. The soup from the video game has little black seeds on the heart, so we salvaged some dragon fruit seeds to decorate with later. Next, Nick chopped up some radish and put it aside. We bought a honeydew melon and cut that in half and then Nick took the seeds out. Using a melon baller, we made a few melon balls to use for the soup garnish. And same thing for the watermelon. We cut that in half and sliced it to create a heart shape for our soup garnish. and then use the melon baller for more garnish. Next, I threw the dragon fruit, radish, watermelon, and a cup of milk in a blender. As expected, the color was way more neon purple than light pink, but I was able to use more milk to try to get it closer to the actual color from the game. I poured the blended soup into a bowl and then started decorating the heart-shaped watermelon with the dragon fruit seeds. I forgot to realize that all of the melon garnishes would sink easily and I thought the video was going to be a disaster. I threw in a bunch of melon balls hoping they would stack and eventually appear afloat. I 
I was able to keep the watermelon heart afloat by putting a sauce dish upside down and placing the watermelon on it. And here's the final result. The soup color is definitely more radioactive than the video game and probably would have came out better with a white dragon fruit, but overall, not bad. We definitely did not want to try to eat this, but it does look pretty. We hope you guys enjoyed watching and let us know in the comments what food or drink from a game you'd like us to try to recreate next.